hello guys so in this video i'm just making some alphabets for the keyrings so i'm going for cow print one but i'm doing some in my face up um mold and some on a face down so some will be white and some will be just the black dots on now black spots so i have mixed my resin the resin i'm using is j addiction resin and it's already mixed and i left on this one i'm using this mat because i haven't got heat in here down uh, so you keeping on a mat so it can dry on a constant temperature right now the temperature here is 18 showing on in my um the thermometer so but this will go up because of the heat mat um this uh, this is one i got it from amazon i will leave the link if you are interested to buy and yeah mix the resin and i left here so i can pop it pop when the heat comes it pop the bubbles it's nearly the bubbles are nearly disappearing some on top of this one but i'll be using this one at the end don't want to use it now so i'll just leave this here and in this one i'm going to mix white so i'm using white pigment paste so first i do white and then i'll do um the black spots because i want black to get a little bit thicker so you stay in a space i think that should be enough and just mixing in this so this one is face up so i'm using white in this one first and that with the black spots in that one and then we'll do the next step tomorrow will be other way around then you see it is mixed the beauty of this one is the bubbles that popping itself don't use much heat gun i just give a quick run to it so it's mixed so i don't want to take so i'm just going just to putting just like this and that should be enough not doing a whole alphabet, 26 letter. Got something there. Oops. This will be done in three stages. because I like having the domino effect on the top. I'm just going to wait a little bit more to get this thickened and then I carry on with this one. So I, I dropped the, the black resin on this one. I just had a pigment paste I use. I mix in this one and I just dropped with the stick. Sorry, it, I thought it turned on but it didn't. So this is how it looks. I just drop randomly, try to make like cow print as well. So you can see it's a random spots there. So now the tomorrow, and I, by mistake I drop cup one there and one there. But what I do, 
tomorrow I'll drop um, when I do my next step I will put the black spot right on top of that one so get cover and yeah we see how it goes and which one looks better the face down or face up so the next day uh, has dried so I'm going to start doing my next step you can see it's a lovely made a pattern of the cow print so the next step I'm going I have already mixed resin so you can see the same resin I'm using J Diction um, already got my white paste mixed in the resin so I'm Oh, now start pouring in this one. Make sure it's filled up properly as well. Next step for this one is putting this one, which is I'm going to, I have to be very careful. Not putting too much because otherwise it will cover a whole bit. I'm just going to make a random shape as well, not just a round one. So this is, I'm just going to leave it now and let it dry. This one got so much you can see, but never mind. So I'm ready now to do the last layer. It's just a clear resin I'm putting on top. So I've got mixed my resin here. And I'm just going to pull. Let's start from here. So now I'm going to wait until it dry by tomorrow and I will show you how I drill it and put my accessories. Uh, so you will be able to see the last process. So see you tomorrow. So the next day um, I'm demolding it. So this one was the one that you can see half 
there and then I done the black cow print and uh, um, the doming is done as well so does this one doesn't need any doming so I'm going to all, all of them take them off. let me just uh, take this off and see how I compare them both but this one still need doming okay see the difference but once the doming done that will look nice as well there I don't know I don't know which one I prefer but I'll show you when I do that because I'm doing a UV resin on this one so I'll show you when I do this one in the next step but the minute we're just going to demold all of them so this goes there and uh, let's take B out and compare it the B hasn't got proper white at the bottom but but it has color whole way so it won't be any thing visible because I had to fill up with the clear resin on the top and run out the resin but you can see same still it's working so let me know guys which one you prefer upside down or are the face up or the face down because so this one This one is face down and this one is face up. This one still need a doming. This one doesn't need any doming because I already done doming on it. I put the clear resin on it. So let's get G out from actually S. Let's do S here. Did I do it? Yeah, I got out L as well. So just trying to compare them both face up face down i think the face down looks much better than face up just to need a doming and it'll be nice Maybe when we do next time, maybe if we look more white and less clear on the top. Because in this way, you can see it's lots of white that filled up all the way up the, till the bottom. So maybe do that one and we probably will look more close to the other one. So we need a little bit cutting which I'll do that's it beautiful so yeah I'm just going to keep all on the side and when I I'll show you the one that I do I'll probably do tomorrow or something when I do the um On the UV resin, that's so nice. Got this on this one. Oh my goodness! Look at that. That's so beautiful. Yeah, I would prefer this one than this because the color looks a bit off on this one then this this is quite white bright white to be honest uh, on there what i like actually this one maybe the pattern
Dusty. Guess that and see here. I do cut this one a little bit. I need it for now. F. P O I haven't done P and O in this one. Just have to cut this one a little bit. T. I did this white as well because I had a, some black left so I put the black in the background and then I used my um, the gold foil on top with the clear resin looks really nice love the black and the gold combination got this one just need different color now it's got black and gold but I still need to put something there so that's it and then I'll show you the next step tomorrow so I'm doing the next process here, which is I'm just going to drill through before I put the top layer on some of them with the UV resin. So the reason why I do it now because I want to put the little bit of UV resin when on on my um, eye hole as well, so you hold it the screw properly, the screw eye hole. So let's get started. Um, yeah, and to show you, this one I use to make a drill, it's, it's made quickly, instead of using the hand drill, hand drill takes ages. So I use, I got it from Amazon and I'll put down the details in the description box if you're interested to buy. So that's it, that's done. Now the next one. So 
doesn't take too long to do it. So that's it. This is how it takes to do that many letters with the electric one. And the hand drill takes ages. So I'm just going to wipe them off and I'll do my next step. So the next step, I am going to put this eyelet screw in. So I'm putting all silver in the um, card print one. Just take in. I just dropped it. <laughs> it's so easy to do to take in your um, plier and just leave the screw on its place and just move um, your um, letter keying, a uh, letter um, raising letter. So just keep moving like this. until it gets a little bit tighter so this one is done it doesn't take too long so i'm going to start putting there all of them and then i do my next step
so this is all done now all got my um, eyelid screw in so we do the next step so now the last step I'm doing I'm going to put the UV rays in on all of them um, you can use um, the normal resin but um, I'm in too much rush so I want to finish that one can't, I don't have patience actually <laughs> so yeah I normally put the other one as well so depends so I'm using Jediction UV resin and um, what I'm going to do so take the cap off and I've got this one LED light um, for UV resin so first I am just going on the top just like this thin line and then use the toothpick or um, any um, lolly stick or anything to cover all around don't put too much otherwise it will drip you can do the same thing with the uh, two part resin as well and one thing I'm going to do first so as I done my top bit I'm just going to take a tiny bit and just put on a screw eyelet when you do that one it helps to um, create the bond between the resin um, letter and uh, the eyelet so it gets secure there it seems like it's done and I'll put it there and go for another one this one doesn't actually need the top let me just do this one and just use around it It's a bit time consuming when you do this one but it leaves a beautiful finish on the top the doming effect Just going to put a tiny bit more because I think it's not enough there and a bit there as well. Then, once that done, just going to put around here to make sure it's secure. And then, as I put this one down. A tiny bit for all this one as well because I don't want any top uh, of this one. It's got a nice doming effect on the top. So I'll do all of them and then I'll start um, the timer on.
So, let me start. So I have to do it twice because I got 60 seconds on this one. Oh, press on the wrong button. So, maximum is 60 on this one, so I'll, I'll do it twice. Alright, 60 more seconds. So let me just get it out now. So let me just show you, not this one. Okay, that's the M. And I got toothpick and pressing. You can see it's still, it's nothing. It's done. So that's. Just going to keep on the side, which I was done. You can see hatch here. It's done as well. See here. So they're all done. And this is um, how I do the resin. So now let me just show you the next step. What I put it on. So I've got Y here. And I'm just going to use this black on there. And get this ring out and I don't need to put the I use the jump ring because this one has got a big jump ring on it and then just open that oh, let me just put this in first so I'll put my tassel here just right there so just hold with one finger and just twist it other side so it stays in a position and then put this in you can use two pliers to do that but i find this very easy and push it down make sure it's in a line your jump ring and it's secure there because you may be able to see it so that's done and then open this one same way like that and do this way and press it down so like this So it's done. So you can see how beautiful it's done. I'll show you the one other one as well. Um, this 
one, see? So I'm using the um, silver on that. doing same thing again putting on this one my tassel this one is quite hard to do it maybe I have to do it this way open it there's another way you can open with this one and just open this way if it's too hard to open need a little bit more and then push it that way and then squeeze it That's done. I'm just going to do the same way because that's a bit hard to open. It's quite strong than the gold one I got. And then get the and then oops, I got the wrong one. <laughs> Set. That's how it's done. So don't you see how beautifully that look? Kidding. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll finish off all of them, but I'm not recording all of them. So thank you, and I see you in my next video. Bye for now.